Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner today looking at Pango Build City, our ninth Pango app. And like the others, this is very simple and easy to use. You might actually think of this app as a very entry level kind of Minecraft spatial experience or even like a, a Toka Blocks. So as you can see, you start out with a blank city and you can lay down your roads and, and trains. I'm kind of doing both. I like how the roads sort of make those automatic intersections. Then you can go into the menus on the bottom. You see they're very well designed and you can drag and drop different items. Now keep in mind this is fast motion so I'm showing you a lot of this app in a short amount of time. You can rotate the stage in any direction and there's a lot of options and one of the things I liked about this is there's not too many uh, options for, for uh, children but there's a, the right mix in terms of transportation and so on. Once I've decorated my, my city, I can bring it to life. Now the way you bring things to life, you touch that play button in the upper left and then you drop these characters onto the different items. And that has this magical effect. I liked how you can pinch to zoom in and how the buildings and everything sort of has a function. So at the end of the day, you've got a pretty Play-Doh-like experience. It's no way to fail and a lot of things you can do here. A couple of points to make. One is that you can touch the moon or the sun icon to change the time of the day. And that's a really cool feature, which I forgot to demo here. But definitely try this if you uh, buy this app. The second thing is that you can't control the audio. And if a child left that siren going, that could drive uh, a sane adult insane. At the end of the day, this is a really nice starter app for children. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.